Good morning, Sunday the 26th of April. Um, a couple of days ago I was on showing you how I prepared the barrels for the Blanche Leaks. Uh, well, there's a fair bit of preparation gone in before I plant, so I'm going to go through this morning. I may put two or three posts on throughout the course of the day, just short ones, but it's just to bring you up to date with exactly what I'm doing for the Blanche Leaks and the preparation that goes in to make sure that you have things right before you start planting. Um, we'll turn the camera around and uh, I'll just quickly show you a few pot leaks in that, which is ready to still to go out. There we are. Right, a few pot leaks. I've still got a two or three dozen for lads uh, for the beginning of May. Moving on to, that's a, a Blanche leak bed as well, which we will plant out. Right, if you remember, I was on preparing barrels. I showed you exactly what I did to the barrels. Uh, pretty difficult on your own with this lockdown to cover a 50 foot trench with black and white polythene especially when you've got to cut it uh, to the, over the shape and then around the uh, the framework which I've got up. But never mind, what I did, I did it in sections and then I've just taped it up with um, the tape that you use to repair your polytunnels with. So it's worked out all right. Right, we filled up. Uh, I put a five litre pot in every one. That's just ready to be lifted out. Uh, the, I'm only in three litre pots from planting, so there's a little bit of spare compost to go in around them. Um, I'll probably just pack in what's around here and then top up with fresh compost as we go. Join in us if you remember. Uh, right, we've covered with black and white. There's 20 stations, all with pots already in. All the way down the row, as you can see. Uh, canes, you need to keep them nice and upright. So the canes are tied onto a straining wire at the top there. Bottom of the canes, we are going to tie the leak in. So there's a couple of wires already attached to the cane. Uh, we need something to keep the leak nice and straight. And this is um, pipe lagging, which I used. I think that's 28 mil. Uh, damp course. This is cut at uh, 18 inches one way and 22 inches the other way. And that's the. I'm putting that straight on now. So you'll see I'm, pu I'm only um, pulling up twice. Uh, we carry galvanized wire, uh, galvanized rods, which uh, sit on the framework, as you can see here. This frame has been made, um, National Polyton has made it for me actually, uh, with little hooks on, and I can raise the height of these dead easy, um, or drop them, you know, to suit the, the framework of the actual plant. Uh, those metal rods do get hot on a warm day, so we need something to take the heat out because it will burn the foliage. Uh, I've learned all this through experience. I have had burned foliage. So we put again, damp the um, pipe lagging onto here, thicker one on the top. So at the minute there's just the one side done because I have to get in from this side to plant. But once I'm planted out, this side will be, the rods will be put on. And again, the, um, the pipe lagging will go to the top. There's the rods up a height, just ready to drop down. Uh, they're tied up in like bundles. Takes four to a length, 50 foot long. Uh, next year I could do with a coat of paint on these to keep them in decent order. But that's all the preparation that's gone into it. There's a fair bit and uh, we'll now start carrying the leaks down. There is five sections in here between the, um, the framework. Each section has four plants in it. I actually grow five varieties of uh, Blanche Leek. I don't know whether I put all five in uh, on both trenches or the more popular ones. The two that I'm kind of fancying at the moment are the Pendle and the RMG. Um, so I may put six Pendle, six RMG and then just, you know, fill the trench up with four and four thereafter because I've still got another one to go. But I will show you as we go and... Uh, as I say, I may come back once or twice throughout the course of the day. That's great. Thank you.